Annyeonghaseyo! Chaydan and Nia yo, manasso pangao yo! What's up my babies? Welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time stopping by, you are absolutely welcome. You know the vibes. Subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting for. This video is in collaboration with Ruby Hair. I'm bringing you a full-on detailed hair installation video and I really hope you guys enjoy. Short hair, summer vibes. This wig I'm wearing, I'm going to put every single detail about it down below because I don't want to be chatting and rattling for you guys. We're going to go straight into this installation because we be very detailed. I've told you guys my front hair Lord have mercy. My front hair is finished to so just deal with it. There's so many videos on YouTube on how to put your lace cap on your head. You can't watch it. Don't ask me. Anyways, this is the gorgeous wig. This part is a little bit rough because I'm your rough here, you know? Obviously, if you're plucking your wig, you end up brushing it out and making it this big sweep. You can always, always revive the wig with just a spray bottle filled with water and your brush. First, I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Also, if you see me looking here, my mirror is there. Okay! <laughs> So the first thing I like to do is obviously place it on my head and make sure that it is sitting right in place. If you see the kind of plucking I have to do this hair and there's a lot of adjustments I have to do off camera to the wig just because my forehead is massive. Because my forehead is massive, these sides just refuse to stay down. Like they just keep hanging up and I keep having to drag them down. I don't think you have the problem if your head is not as big as mine. <sighs> Anyways, let's get right into this. I like to use this really tiny scissors. I just like to go right in and cut it into five parts. So having five parts means I'm going to cut it into four places. And that's here. Just halfway through your brows. Just so you can control the middle part, the side part, and this lower part. That's why I like cutting into five different places. Second one, right in between my brows. Don't cut it too far in because if you cut it too far in, you're on your own. The only thing I don't really like about this wig just before I start is just the lace is looking perfect for my skin. But for your skin, if you're lighter than I am, then I think you might need to go for a lighter lace. Second part is just right at the end of my brow. I do the same thing on this side as well. Anyways, the next thing I like to do is obviously organize my wig in a way where I know that everything is in the right position. So now I know this is in the middle, I need to be sure that these sides come all the way down and at the same time this side come all the way down. I would absolutely love to use this Erica J's glue, but one thing I noticed about this glue is that you need a lot of layers for it to actually not slide when you're in the sun. And Montreal heat is not as right for my belt. So please, if you're in Canada or in Nigeria or anywhere hot, just kukuma stick to your gut to be glued except you're going fishing <laughs> or you're going into the lagoon or you're going swimming stick to this any glue that's not water soluble will definitely slide back don't risk it okay you know obviously this is a free spray so it actually helps the glue work properly because if you just use this or oh, your there's nothing you're sticking down but if you use this it freezes it i like to use this and i don't like to use too much of it because when you use too much it just becomes very clumpy and very annoying one thing i really really love to say is that when you're installing your wig make sure you know the exact spots where you want your hair to start if you add one installing with and you're new at installing wigs please listen carefully make sure you have an eyebrow pencil or something that you can literally use to mark on your forehead i have a big forehead so i really don't like to have my wigs too full it kind of just makes me look different you want to have the dot literally match exactly where you want the dot to stop this really helps when it comes to placing your wigs when you're installing your hair that way you know where exactly the middle is for you make sure you mark it here and do all the placements you want to do before you start sticking out because once you start sticking down, there's no movement. Any movement you do is going to cause a very irritating ripple effect. And nobody likes ripple effects. Trust me, it's very annoying. If you want to learn how to lock your lace, Apparently this week comes with lace plucked. I had to do a lot more plucking. Please make sure you pluck so that it looks the same way your own natural front hair looks. If you're going to use your hands to apply this, please make sure you wash your hands because you want to avoid as much oil as possible. Oil transfer is not nice when it comes to using go to be because it's very annoying. I'm going to use my rat tail comb to actually put the glue on my forehead. And when I put it on my forehead, I want to apply over a wide area into the lace cap as well. So you really don't want to just have it sitting on your head because your skin will release a lot of oils in the long run for me my application area is very large because i have a very massive for it don't want to put too much in the first application if you don't want to use a rat tail comb you can use something like a spatula something that has a flat top remember your first layer of glue should be as flat as possible but the first layer of glue i like to apply it 
everywhere over my forehead and drag it completely like literally completely flat down that way it kind of seals oils that want to come out from your skin watch you might see me applying it very easily that's because i already know where exactly the hairline is going to start and end because i already tried on it a couple times before this video make sure you try it on, on your head before your installation just so you're sure where exactly everything is starting and stopping with your hair dryer if you're not too sure where to have it in the cold setting or the hot setting i'd always advise to have it in the medium setting so obviously it's going to be warm not hot not cold now this is how you know where the first layer is drying. Basically you have to use a rat tail comb and you do this. If you're not seeing any stickiness coming to the surface, this part is still a bit wet. So I have to dry it a bit more. Now that I'm done, I can tell it's obviously dry. I literally can't feel, feel any stickiness going on my head. You can actually have three layers of this glue if you choose to. But me, I don't have that kind of time. I'm just going to have like two layers of the glue and then spray two layers of the fix plus as well. Make sure you have as much glue as you need. If your glue is finishing, please go and buy a new one because you cannot manage when it comes to installing hair. I don't want to see you outside there with your wig coming up. This is the second layer, right? So you want to make sure that you're installing it in portion. You saw that we cut it into five parts so you want to make sure that you're installing those five parts separately and with the first part i just like to make sure i put on that area that i'm about to install you don't want to rub it everywhere this way you are not getting everything tacky i'm just going to go ahead and dry it until it's tacky and make sure you have your rat tail comb with you because when you have a rat tail comb you, you can tell when it's tacky because it starts getting sticky to the point where it's like you have to pull out the brush and then you can go ahead and spray free spray at this point you want to make sure that there's absolutely no strands of hair in that area this part is already dry so you might as well just start applying your free spray make sure you shake when you spray it on the mouth of the nozzle it dries out there and then it just gets very annoying when you spray it sometimes it just spritz in different areas make sure you clean that area before you start spraying you might mess up the whole process and i honestly don't even advise you spray it directly onto your hair i'd prefer you spray it onto your surface and rub it off with your fingers but i don't want any oil the breeze actually spray spreads out the glue properly for you so you're not having like patches and stuff and now it's time to actually dry onto this tacky like actually tacky 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 so if you do this and it starts getting a bit white on top then you know that's a sweet spot for placing your wig at this point you want to line up the dot on the lace with the dot on your forehead now i'm going to use my comb to comb this backwards because you really don't want to use your finger you're actually going to mess up the whole process after doing that i'm going to dry the rest of it at this point i can literally feel it taut like it's literally on this spot and now i want to drag this other part obviously you're installing in sections to avoid you having those stupid very annoying ripples and then i want to brush it backwards again and as i'm brushing it i'm pressing it down this way you just get a very sleek back effect and it's very flat and perfect I want to do the same thing to this side. Any section you're working with, make sure you work on the opposite section at the same time or right after just to avoid yourself having one side hanging up while the other side is sitting down, okay? There's one technique that I really, really love doing and it really makes a difference when I'm installing my wigs. When I'm blow drying my hair, I literally just place it on top of it and I press it backward. The dryer is on and I'm pressing it on the hair and pushing it backward. This way you just get everything sitting in place. This wig is going nowhere. I'm going to go ahead and do the same things to both sides. And obviously, because we just have one layer of glue on this side, don't forget to go ahead and do the same process I just did in the middle part. So I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. I personally don't like cutting above my ears before I go ahead to install. I like to install the cut above my ears, but that could be a bit techy if you're not very good at that. So what I'm going to say is right before you install the ear tab area make sure you lift up your wig i already dragged this part because it was pulling the wig backwards like this place my wig down and cut right above the area where my ear is and make sure you pull your hair all the way up i'll show you guys on this section this is the part that tends to lift every single time i have a shower so if i want my hair to last way longer i push it all the way up again so you have a wider area of application Thank you. 
say is when it comes to you cutting the ear tabs of your wig you need something like this i can see a little bit of lace right above my ear i want to make sure to clip this area down literally as perfectly as possible the reason for pulling your hair upwards so you don't cut the chunk of the hair off i want to drag this area to be sure that this is where i wanted to start from and now i know what area of the lace is riding above my ear i'm very weird because i did this thing with my ear where i can tuck it into my own ear so like this is very strange i do that sometimes when i'm cutting my lace off but because not everybody can do that let me just cut it respectfully so you just want to go right from this end you want to always start from this end in a situation like this if you look at your ear tab area and there's like extra lace leaning over your ear this is when you just want to cut from front to back you might cut off part of the hair but that's okay because it's always going to be covered cut it off make sure you can easily tuck this portion behind your ear without feeling any pain if you're feeling any pain is that the wig is too big for you or it's just very unproportional to your own head shape which is okay because that happens a lot but make sure you're not dragging any lace so we're gonna do the rest of the hair now just because i have been talking for too long now this is the part that is very techy for a lot of people cutting off the lace this should actually be one of the easiest parts oh my bum. i'm going to come a bit closer you want to use a very tiny pair of scissors or share this is for paper <laughs> you can use whatever you have as long as it's very tiny or you can actually use this this is one of the best things to use i just like using the scissors one because it's more controlled but this is a very very good tool for cutting when you're cutting with this one is a completely different technique and i'll show you what i'm talking about with this one you want to pull the lace forward and away don't tug on it too hard so that you don't pull it out of your head make sure you drag it and then you start cutting do the up and down motion so you're not cutting a straight line you do this and you can see you're actually cutting it in a jagged line and when you pull it forward towards your face, it makes it easier for you to cut it without having issues. very very good to make sure you cut your lace in section now i have to focus on the next section and in this section i'm going to use these scissors i'll show you the difference make sure you're always clipping your hair away from your face there is no guarantee that when you finish cutting part of the lace won't lift a little part of the lace will lift and that's because it's unavoidable and you can always stick it back and this is where i actually like to use any glue that does not wash off with water that way you're kind of a bit more secure with the scissors you're pulling it to the side not forward i want to go in chop 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 motions and you see as you're dragging it it's coming off very easily so you want to keep chopping 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 chop 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 there's something i hate about got to be glue it turns white on your head i'll show you how to cover that when you're done it's done you can see that obviously not all the lace got stuck down so i'm just gonna cut off all the excess lace that's not doing anything like i said all this lace don't be scared don't be bothered about it because you're going to stick it down with something else that is not got to be glue so that, that you're very sure that when you have in the shower your wig is not tugging off or coming off so now i'm done with this section and i like to seal all these parts that are just lifting just a little bit with the other glue i was talking about to press it down to the front i'm just show you guys as much as possible you want to press it down this is the most important part of installing your wig and that's an elastic band you want to make sure you have an elastic band we don't have a long enough one attach all the short ones you have and you want to press it right above the hairline below my ears i don't like pulling it above my ears because then you're not getting the front area it doesn't matter if it's painful and deal for five minutes okay using your hair dry in a hot setting so hot setting melt it a bit this thing presses it down and then use the cold setting and you get it perfectly if you don't have foundation or anything on your brush make sure you put a little bit just a little bit of foundation on it you want to dab it over the surface it's literally just masking it into your skin it just looks very very clean it's time to do baby hairs if you're the kind of person that likes baby hairs this is the most difficult part for me because i really don't know how to do baby hairs i try so hard with the shape of my head i don't really need baby hairs to be in front of my forehead so that's why i avoid it as much as possible always feel free to go ahead and pluck a little bit more so the portion you bring off a baby hairs is not too much i really just like to have my tweezers i'm going to make a whole baby hair tutorial i don't know if this video is really it i just like to cut off 
part of the baby hairs like actually trim them don't ever use a scissors to cut your baby hairs i like using the same got to be glue that i used to store my wig go ahead and do my baby hairs but you can always go for the black got to be that is for styling and use that instead it takes me so much time because I need it to be as perfect as possible. Do you see how sleek that looks? And then for this area, I really just like to drag out just a little bit of the hair there and do the same thing. Pluck just a little bit. You see how that looks? I like to do the same cutting. Just cut all the way horizontally downwards. I sweep it towards my face and back face and back i can now know how much more of the baby hair to cut can cut that off let's go ahead and brush a little bit more okay this is what the baby hairs look like the color pattern is actually looking much better that's because i sprayed some water on this hair literally so beautiful I'm obsessed. I'm going to dry it the way it is and let it get fluffy. If you don't have a diffuser, make sure you just use your hand to hold the hair in place. This is also the time to add your hair oils or do any trimming you want to do. But anyway, I might do that after this video. But for now, I think the style, the length and just the cutting is actually perfect for now. I don't think I have to do anything to it. I think it's kind of dry enough. It's a bit damp still. I think it's still okay. I'm just gonna take off this elastic band. And then I just get my hair looking all sleek and all of that. And we just know we are ready to go. Do you see how this thing literally looks like it's come off my scalp? That's the effect you want. And the top is still a bit wet, so I'm waiting for it to get dry. Okay. With this wig, you can't really pat it to the side because the side area is very tiny, like it has very little lace. It's not even as deep as the middle section. Like, please use a right tail comb. I don't know why I'm doing this stuff ahead of me. I just can't be bothered to go into my bathroom to get my right tail comb. But yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. It's looking clean, it's looking neat. You don't have to worry. Now, you know that if you go outside, nobody's looking at you weird. You're looking sweet, like me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you got to this point, you're actually my munchkin, my favorite one to start with. So if you're not subscribed and you you got to this point, better subscribe so that you don't miss any uploads from me. I do fashion content, vlogs, hair and makeup content, and chit chats, you know, just sometimes I do videos about God if I'm led. You know, that's a vibe. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll definitely see you in my next one. Thank you, Riri Hair, for sponsoring this video. Annyeong, sarang hey, mwah.